Welcome back to the program. You know, this whole episode, we've really seen a lot of women share their stories of inspiration and how they've started their business and how they've inspired other people. And one woman in my life that is truly inspiring and really has a lot of knowledge to share is herbalist and wellness expert, Marish Miranowska. I'm so glad to be here. Tell me about the journey of saying, okay, I enjoy herbs, I enjoy making my own products, to I'm going to create a line and sell it to other people. Yeah, well, I've always really felt um, at home in nature. And um, as I grew up, I really enjoyed gardening and connecting with the plants. And um, I found myself living in the middle of nowhere in Vermont when I was teaching. And there weren't many people to be friends with, but there were a lot of plants to befriend. And I really became more interested in the plants and started studying herbalism. Why were you inspired to create a face cream? Because in the world of beauty, there are an endless amount of beauty products out there. Definitely. I thought that I would find my perfect face cream. I started looking at health food stores and different places and found that when I really looked at the ingredients, there was nothing that was truly deeply nourishing to the skin. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the exterior of the body. You have a tincture. Now, you introduced me to tinctures, and now I'm actually addicted to them because I feel like beauty starts from the inside out. Can you share what a tincture is with those that may not know what it is? Tinctures are alcohol extractions of plants. It's a really easy way to receive the medicine of a plant, only a few dropperfuls in a glass of water, and it's as if you were drinking the tea. Tell me about this bottle here. What is this? This is our sacred Bulgarian rose hydrosol. What is hydrosol? It's the steam distillation of a plant. It takes 4,000 pounds of rose petals, steam distilled to make a pound of this rose hydrosol. Wow, that's a lot of rose petals. What would you use this for? You can use it internally and externally. If you just add a little bit to a glass of water, you drink rose water. It turns the whole water into rose water. And it's so deeply calming, opening to the heart, balancing to the hormones, and it does. It clarifies the skin and really um, brings balance and peace, inner peace. It's, it's an amazing thing to drink rose water. <laughs> And you can use it externally as well. You can dilute it in water and it and clarifies the skin and um, reduces rashes or, or any red spots. One thing that you do make that I really enjoy buying from your product line is tea. What type of tea do you have here today? This is a divinely nourished tea that has some of the most nourishing plants that are known. Um, nettles, oat straw, violet leaf, um, these plants grow as medicinal weeds. They grow in complete abundance. The earth gives us these plants as weeds because they're such powerful medicine and they're not finicky. They're, they're wild and they're vibrant and they give us that medicine. So when we drink nourishing herbs, we're able to receive all of the minerals, all of the vitamins that we need. It's like a multivitamin and um, all the chlorophyll and, and the energy from, from the green weeds that, that grow so vibrantly and, and wildly in nature. Just smelling it makes me feel open. Yes, it's really energizing, but in a really grounding way. So unlike caffeine that gives us the jitters and then we crash and ultimately we're depleted, um, this really builds us up and it nourishes our root and, and it um, nourishes our body. Even your skin will, will start to look more vibrant and your hair and um, it's really alkalizing. It helps us absorb nutrients from our food. It's a really, really nourishing, gentle, sweet medicine. It sounds like you've really developed a beautiful line here, Marisha, but tell me about the school that you're leading. You are now teaching women how to become herbalists. Yes, the Gaia School of Healing and Earth Education. It started in Vermont and Massachusetts. Um, Sage Mauer began the school 14 years ago now, and um, I just opened the California branch of the school this last year and I'm training apprentices. I'm training people who want to relearn. It's really a remembering, remembering the, the, the wisdom of the earth, remembering the medicine of the plants so that they can share it with their friends, with their families, with their clients. Did you ever imagine when you're a little girl hiking with your family or out gardening with your grandma that one day you would have your own line and be a teacher? 
No, I never imagined it then, but it does make sense to me now because I've always felt so at home and connected and awakened by the plants. And it's my absolute joy to be able to share that energy with others and, and the abundant healing that nature provides. What are three tips you can give people who are truly passionate about something and they're really looking just to follow through with creating their own business? I think first it's so important to really connect with your passion. Um, when we're able to really share from our heart and really share that which makes us excited, then we have the energy that we really need in order to follow through on a business and get it out there to others. And then to make small, achievable goals so we can really take it step by step and not get overwhelmed by the large end vision. And then finally, I think it's important to really dream big and, and have a, a large vision that, that is positive for, for ourselves and, and to benefit others. Thank you so much, Marisha. Thank you.